Yo, what's up, guys? I'm Spirit. And I'm back in for another editing tutorial video. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to edit on After Effects. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be covering um, transitions, good kill effects, and just like flow in general. So, yeah, let's get right into it. First things first, you wanna get your song and your clips. I already got my song. I'm using his GTA by Rarin. I got my three clips. I synced it up so it could be like quick and easy now after you sync it up we're gonna go to we're gonna go and do velocity so for the first clip right you wanna after you get a beat you wanna split it go and hit the clip that you're editing um highlight it hit Control shift d to split and you have your own separate layer now zoom in a little bit now what you want to do is right click on the clip time enable time mapping what you want to do is set a keyframe right there Go to the end of the clip and set another keyframe there. Now what you want to do is highlight both of them. Hit F9 on your keyboard or right click keyframe assistant. Easy ease. Now what you want to do is go to your graph editor on the left. And now you want to hit the first keyframe. And you want to pick it up a little bit and go to the end. And then you want to bring this down as well. You'll get something like this. So it's like slow motion and then fast motion to the next clip. Now we're going to add a little time map at before the kill so it's more flow. So when you see I'm about to pull out the gun, which is right here, split. I'm going to split it again, zoom in, do the same thing I did. Um, time map, enable time mapping, add my keyframe, add my keyframe. Now I'm going to easy ease it, but this time, and go to my graph editor, this time I'm going to make it where it's very sharp of a, of a, uh, of a time map. So, this is very sharp. Now what you want to do, it's going to be a little frame droppy. So what you want to do is go to the clip and double click this box, like dots there you'll get something like this so it's so slow and it's smooth so it's like boom it like locks onto it I like transitions I'm mean, like simple effects and transitions so what you want to do is add an adjustment layer on top of the clip where you kill the guy you want to split it control shift D remember that and go to the end of the clip and split that and delete it now let's close these so it can be more cleaner. I'm gonna go to your effects and presets and make sure you guys have Sapphire plugins installed. You must have that installed. Blur Mo, and you wanna click and drag it on the adjustment layer. Now what you wanna do is animate, hit the clock on the Z disk. You wanna aim it a little bit so it's zooming in and go towards the end of the clip and type it back to 1.0. Now what you wanna do is easy ease the keyframes go to graph editor and make sure the first keyframe is set all the way up and the last one all the way to the left drag it all the way to the left so it looks like now we're gonna add brightness we're gonna raise it up to however you feel it's good enough go to the end of it put it back to zero go click U on the adjustment layer to pop up all the keyframes and then highlight brightness and hit F9 now what you want to do is search up Warp Chroma. It's another Sapphire plugin. Make sure you guys download that. I'll leave a video down below on how to install it. Click and drag to adjustment layer. Go to from ZDisk on the Warp Chroma. Type 0.960. You get this. Hit the little clock. Go to the end of the clip. Type in 1.0. Now you want to hit U on the adjustment layer again. Go to the keyframes of the warp chroma and hit F9. And you'll get something like that. Now, we're going to add a little shake. Now, just search up how to get Twitch free. You know, that's that's how you get it. It's, yeah, so. Now, what you want to do is when um, you want to drag your shake and then copy these settings. So, after you drag and drop S shake, you want to copy amplitude 0.4. Frequency 1.5, phase 4.1, and now for X settings, it's zero. 
y is 0, x is 0, and tilt is 0. Now for the twitch, you want to put to 30, 50 speed, you want to enable slide, the behavior, I'm pretty sure it's default. Go to slide and put the slide amount to 50 and then the RGB split to 20 and then leave the motion blur and twitches and you'll get something like this. That's pretty, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat in my opinion. Now we're going to go to the transition. After you do all that, I don't have to. What you want to do is go back to the normal curve on the adjustment layer and hit the clock on shift X U so you can see that keyframe. Now you want to go to the end of the clip and drag it like to where the the orange box is like at the end of the screen. Now make sure you have wrap X and wrap Y on reflect. That's right, but it's like very slow. So what you want to do is just easy ease them, easy ease the Shift X keyframes. You want to go to Graph Editor, get your left keyframe and drag it all the way to the right, and then the right keyframe all the way down. So you'll get a sharp, you'll just get a sharp transition. Um, add an adjustment layer here. So just go to layer. Adjustment layer is going to be on top of the other clip. You want to cut it down a little bit because this, this will just be your your uh, transition uh, effect. You want to make sure wrap X and wrap Y is reflect. Enable shift X. To make it quicker, copy the last keyframe, paste it, and then add a minus. Because then it will go to the other side instead of it being on the right side and then hit zero type zero on the shift x and it'll go back to normal go to graph editor drag the left keyframe all the way to the top and the right keyframe all the way to the left so you'll get something like this <laughs> clean <coughs> quick and easy little slide transition there off to the next clip all right to be honest for highlight videos you can always do the same effects like it doesn't make like nobody will care because it's a highlight video so if you want to keep adding the same effects and save your time all you need to do is get the first adjustment layer where you added all your kill effects control c go onto the clip where you killed the guy hit the clip control v drag and boom it's there the only thing you need to change is the slide transition because we're not going to do the slide transition again. So what we're going to do is disable the clock and make sure it's on zero so you don't have no effect at the end. Just have the kill effect. Now for this next transition, it's going to be a zoom in, zoom out. So what you want to do is just make sure your Z-Disc is already enabled. Now as this is zero, just go to the end of the clip and zoom in to like 0 0.3 your graph editor make sure the middle one drag all those all the way to the right and then the bottom one drag all the way to the top so you'll just get a sharp zoom in here. split it like we did to the last one and split a couple keyframes in split that drag and drop blur mo curves and then you want to hit the clock on z disk raise it up to 1.3 as you see there's black there's like black around it now what you want to do is hit wrap Y reflect, wrap X reflect. Now what you want to do is go towards the end of the clip, 1.0. Select all keyframes, easy ease like we did last time. Left keyframe down, right keyframe left. It's like a quick and easy, zoom in, zoom out. And like I said for the last clip, just copy and paste it there to save your time for a highlight video. And yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and leave suggestions down below on what type of tutorial y'all want to see next. I'm going to start dropping more After Effects tutorials for y'all so more people can learn it. And yeah, catch you in the next video. Peace out.